Welcome traders to another tick mill trading update with me Patrick Munnerly and we are going to take a look at the indices in the US as we head into this holiday shortened trading week President's Day today so uh, US markets are closed but looking at the technical setup we're going to start here with the S&P 500 using the E-mini futures contract Ultimate objective on the weekly time frame versus the 41.28 swing low. We have two target areas, 51.72 to 52.34, which is the equality objective versus the swing structure. And that also coincides just below their yearly R1, uh, 51.69. So looking at the four hour time frame and uh, the weekly bull bear zone, we're going to use. 4990 to 49.80. Any pullbacks into that area? Watching for bullish reversal patterns, want to engage on the long side, initially targeting weekly projected range resistance and monthly projected range resistance coming in at 51.28, just below that uh, that weekly target zone of the 51.70s up to 52.30s. From there, we will see if we can maintain uh, momentum divergence, watch for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, certainly looking for a retest then of the 5067. And that may be the area then that we look for, again, bullish reversal patterns to target our uh, weekly upside objectives. Moving to the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ also in a corrective phase at the moment. So we're going to use a weekly bull bear zone of 17 thousand eight hundred and fifty seven to seventeen thousand eight hundred and ninety eight as that area acts as resistance i'm looking for another leg to the downside to target the equality objective at seventeen thousand four hundred fifty six and then from there obviously watch for bullish reversal patterns looking for the next leg to the upside upside objectives are weekly projected range resistance eighteen thousand two hundred thirty six to the one two seven extension of this last corrective leg, um, 18,282. Now, obviously that's dependent on holding the support here and extending to the upside. As I, um, I with the three wave corrective move, obviously we will be looking for that test down into the 17,450s. But if we don't break down, uh, I want to be on the long side through 18,032 for those same upside objectives. And then from there again, obviously we're watching uh, for bearish reversal patterns to re-engage on the short side, looking for a correction back down to retest these prior highs as potential support. Moving to the Dow Jones. Dow is close to its weekly equality objective versus the swing low, 32,312. We have 39,000. 425, we have that 127 extension just above 39,000 itself. So the setup is uh, into the weekly bull bear zone here. We're using 38,600, 38,510. Uh, looking for pullbacks into that area. Bullish reversal patterns there to engage on the long side, looking for those upside targets to get tested. And then if we maintain momentum divergence, we will be looking for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side and again looking for a retest of price cycle highs into that 38,900 area as uh, as potential support. As always traders, plan the trade, trade the plan and most importantly manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.